Hi everyone, today we are going to learn the argument of the complex numbers. So to make it easy, I made it four quadrant. I will go over each quadrant with one example to make it clear for everyone. So let's start with the first example. Let's say find the argument of two plus two square root of three i. So first of all, let's remember the x-axis in the argon diagram is real part and this part is imaginary part so 2 will be real part so let's say this is 2 and this one is 2 square root of 3 imaginary part okay now to get this angle argument of this question we need to find out this angle here let's call this as alpha so to get alpha we need to use tangent alpha equal to what was the tangent let us remember it's opposite over adjacent here this is opposite this is the adjacent so opposite section is 2 square root of 3 and uh, adjacent side is 2 so when you divide them this will be square root of 3 you can just cancel them so now you need to ask yourself which tangent value is equal to square root of 3 let's look at our special triangle over here so tangent 60 which is pi over 3 at the same time is going to be square root of 3 over 1 so tangent 60 degree or tangent pi over 3 pi is 180 degrees so 180 over 3 will give you 60 degree okay so my theta my alpha which is the same as theta here the angle will be pi over 3 so argument of 2 plus 2 square root of 3 i will be pi over 3 okay now let's see what happened when we have the second quadrant so we have another example find the argument of negative 3 plus 3 i so again my real part is my x-axis and imaginary part is my y-axis so let's say this is negative 3 and this one is the imaginary part which is 3 so my purpose is to get alpha first then I'm going to find out theta so this is the required angle which is going to be my argument but first let's find alpha and so again we will use tangent tangent alpha equal to op uh, opposite over adjacent opposite side is 3 adjacent side is again don't say negative 3 we are looking for the distance from the origin which is just 3 unit that will be 1 okay now which tangent value is equal to 1 here I have a special triangle 45 45 90 degree uh, it's 45 degree tangent 45 tangent 45 degree or tangent pi over 4 if pi is 180 divided by 4 will give me 45 degree okay great so we get the alpha so alpha in this case will be pi over 4 and we also know that alpha plus theta should be 180 why because this is a straight line alpha plus theta equal to pi as we know that pi uh, alpha which is pi over 4 plus theta equal to pi okay then we can get the theta is moving pi over 4 to the right side that will be pi minus pi over 4 which will be 3 pi over 4 so argument of negative 3 plus 3 i will be 3 pi over 4 okay now let's look at the in the third quadrant we have real part again 
I will write it down again. So imaginary part, my real part is, as you see, it's negative one. And this part is negative square root of three. So my purpose is first get the alpha, and then I'm going to get the theta, which is over here. This is the angle I'm looking. That will be my argument. Okay, let's first get the theta. This is the first step. So again, we will use tangent alpha, which is opposite over adjacent. Opposite side is square root of 3. Here, this one. Square root of 3. Over adjacent, which is 1. As you see, I'm taking the positive value of negative numbers. Absolute value of the negative numbers, which is always positive. So that will be square root of 3. Now, Again, let's use our special triangle, which tangent value will give me square root of 3. It's obvious that will be 60. Tangent 60, which is going to be opposite is square root of 3 over 1, which is square root of 3. So, tangent pi, or let's just say 61st degree, equal to the same as tangent pi over okay so alpha will be pi over 3 okay so what is theta plus alpha in this case it's going to be pi right so alpha plus theta is pi alpha is pi over 3 plus theta equal to pi from here theta will be pi minus pi over 3 okay but here please be careful this is the most important part as I'm going to uh, clockwise because I start from here right look I just start from here and then move here right so I'm using clockwise direction that's one that's why it's going to be minus very important so theta will be negative negative 3 2 pi over 3 okay don't forget the sign please this is most important thing as I'm going to clockwise direction let's look at the last one which is which will be on the fourth quadrant so in that case again I need to find the alpha here the situation is really straightforward because once I get the alpha it will be also my theta so if I could get the alpha I'm also going to get the theta so again real part imaginary part so here, what's what's my real part? Real part is going to be to extend this square root of three, and the imaginary part is negative one. Why negative one? Because the coefficient of i is negative one. Look, this is in this form. So here we have one invisible one. That's why it is negative one. Now let's find the tangent alpha always use the tangent first so tangent is opposite over adjacent opposite side is one adjacent side is square root of three again let's look at our special triangle 30 60 90 which tangent value will give me one over square root of three uh, tangent 30 right because opposite is one adjacent is square root of three so tangent 30 degree or tangent pi over mostly we use pi so pi over 6 it will give me 1 over square root of 3 okay it means alpha is pi over 3 pi over 6 okay again I'm going 
on uh, clockwise direction so a really important part is putting the negative sign in front of pi over 6 so alpha will be negative pi over 6 okay thank you so much for watching please revise these topics and watch my other videos about the uh, complex numbers